There are a few issues and problems we are facing with the car right now. Full stainless steel. Wow. Listen. Hello guys, I am back today welcoming you all with this. Right in front of us we have the all new 2024 model Mercedes AMG G63 4x4 squared. And in today's video I just want to give you a full tour of this, showing you the exterior, then the interior. And last but not least we will be listening to the gorgeous V8 AMG engine we have here. So let's talk about this car here in specific. As you know we have the G Class. And then we have the G63. And then we saw a few spy shots of a 4x4 being tested. And finally it's time. Here we have it. Also my first ever video on the G63 4x4 squared. This car here coming with the V8 AMG. Back in the days it used to be the 500. The G500 4x4 squared. And now we have the AMG G63 here 4x4 squared. We have a system output of 585 horsepower. This thing is super Super quick but it's actually made for extreme off-roading and also there are a few yeah issues and problems we are facing with the car right now i don't know if you know about it but there have been a few cars been recalled because there is a problem they have with the rear axle or differential if i'm not mistaken and they have been recalling a few cars and all the cars that already arrived from the factory are being held by the dealerships they are just waiting for the spare part and i think they they will be fixing this problem ASAP but that's the problem you don't see any of these anymore on the streets as it used to be but I think they will be fixing it in the future and they are already working on it so this won't be a big problem but anyways let's start with the walk around of this we are right now in Norway and we are filming the private car of Mr. Car. Mr. Car is one of my friends and he's got Instagram guys go ahead and please follow him check out his collection on Instagram we also have another car right over here his all new and brand new EQS SUV and we have his 4x4 squared. Unfortunately he can't drive it right now. Hopefully as soon as they fix the issue and the problems we will be driving it one day. This car one of my favorite specs full blacked out as he loves his cars. I'm a huge fan of it. Really really cool. Let's start with the walk around. As we know we have a 63 as a base here. That's why we also have the so-called Panamericana front grille fully blacked out which is an option now from the factory. I'm a huge fan of it. All the parts here also with the Mercedes-Benz star full black gloss finish the g-class front eyes the headlights and then the front bonnets is actually comparable to what we know from the base g63 also here with the front bumper there are not a lot of differences but as soon as we walk a bit towards the back you can already recognize the size of it we have the portal axles making this car a bit higher than the base car we have a few more parts for improved off-road driving also here the side fenders are full finished in carbon fiber back in the days with the g500 4x4 used to be full or half carbon fiber i think one part was matte and the other one was gloss here we have the base 63 side fender and then the additional carbon fiber part only made for the 4x4 4x4 wheels here full black gloss finish these are actually the only wheel option i know for the 4x4s also the uh, brake sitting right behind it amg wheels here but huge off-roading tires huge fan of it v8 bite over badge here the side mirror here is extremely huge this is by far one of the biggest side mirrors i've ever seen on any mercedes also here down there we have an additional side indicator the doors are exactly the same also here with the carbon fiber trim huge fan of it 63 exhaust tips in the back then yet again side fin is here finished in carbon fiber rear uh, tires 22 inches forgot to mention that 325 55 r22 size these are just massive i'm a huge huge fan of it and now let's talk about the rear and here we have it the 4x4 squared rear and yes we don't have the rear spare tire cover instead of that we have the tire fully exposed here as you can see and then we have this carbon fiber cover which i think brabus did back in the days if i'm not mistaken they did the exact same thing on their 4x4 uh, with a 4x4 squared livery mercedes-benz star here uh, really really cool and then we have this additional leather 
as you can see, we didn't have that back in the days with the old 4x4 squared. And also, let me just climb to the top by opening this here and then stepping right over here and then, ah, oh, there we go. And here on the top, full stainless steel cover here to put anything you want. Mr. Car managed to put a Christmas tree on top. Let me show you how that looked. It was really, really cool and fun to see, but... Mainly, I don't think that anyone is going to use that space here. Let me just jump back down. Oy. Whoa, I think the ladder can hold up to 100 kg, as you can see. In the inside here, we have a lot of space. Also here with the wooden trim, I really love it. You also have the cover here. There we go. And also a few leather applications. Full carbon fiber handle also in the inside. Let me just close that here. There we go. And now let's talk about the interior. Let's go. Wow! First things first, something that I really miss are the step boards. For 4x4 you actually need that. That's what you actually get from Bravo. So to all 4x4 customers, go ahead and upgrade your 4x4 with the side step boards, the additional step boards for a more easy entrance. Or you like it raw and you just step inside. Ah, this view. Wow! We just close the door for you. That's soft closing inside a G. <laughs> I love it. This car is just so raw. I love it so much. But in the inside, it actually almost looks like a Brabus modified version of a G63. Because also here, we have these trim parts finished in carbon fiber for the first time ever. Also, with the 4x4 squared, we have more ambient colors. Also, the air vents finally illuminated as well. We have a more brighter ambient colors in the inside. And then we have this steering wheel, my favorite one. I know there's a facelift coming and I've already seen it. And I've seen the new steering wheel on the new G. And I think this is by far the best steering wheel that Mercedes-Benz ever created. Let me just start the ignition for you. Ah, before we do that, there's something I have to show you. Watch this. So we have this normal animation, okay? And then I will be closing the car, just waiting for it to shut completely off here with the lights. Wait, okay, easy. We are ready to go. Watch this animation. Wow. And now watch this. Wow. And then the ambient colors. Huge fan of it. G63 4x4 squared also here on top. And then uh, we don't have a rear mirror. We actually have one if we put that back down here. But as your rear view and sight is very restricted, actually you can't see anything. You just put that up here and then you have a camera sitting right above the tire and you can also adjust the brightness or you can adjust uh, the height. Or you can adjust and put it more to the left or right or to the center, whatever. Or you can also tilt it. It's so cool. Let me just start the ignition. And then we have the steering wheel buttons here. Switching the car right into Sport Plus. And now let's go ahead and start the engine of this, okay? G63 engine. 3, 2, 1. Let's fire it up. Ooh, yes. I love this. Let me also rev the engine for you. Uh, before we do that, we'll also show you the seat. It's exactly the same seat as we have inside the 63. And also here on top, we have the panoramic roof with actually no view at all. I mean, you just have this part, literally like 60% of the view on top of here is covered, which is also so cool, but you can also close it or open it. I really enjoy it having a bit more sunlight in the inside. But now we will be talking about the sound of this. Listen. This thing is just so nice. I love it. I really like it. And in times of, yeah, only EVs, electric vehicles, I think something like this that really doesn't make any sense is just so 
good to have. I love this car. Flat bottom, carbon fiber, dynamica, steering wheel buttons. I would die for this car. It's so nice. Beautiful car. And I would die for this V8. I hope we're keeping it as long as possible. Let's just jump outside and finish it off with the sound check. Let's go. So now it's time to listen to the sound of the G63 4x4 square from the outside, guys. Let's get it on. Brutal sound, I love it. I really like it. It could be a bit louder, yes, I agree, but I think when driving, it is louder. At this point, special thanks to Mr. Car for letting me film it. I will be putting his Instagram profile in the description below. Go ahead and check out his profile. Make sure to subscribe and follow him. At this point, special, special thanks. Which car would you like to see next? Please leave it in the comment section below. Already looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.